Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from Legendre's equation. We are going to solve a Legendre's equation whose RHS part is 0. Right? So let's get going. Problem solve 5 plus 2x whole square into d square minus 6 times 5 plus 2x into d plus 8 equal into y equal to 0. Given differential equation, five plus two x whole square into d square minus six times five plus two x into d plus eight into y equal to zero. Consider as equation number one. Now we'll solve this equation by reducing it to a linear equation with constant coefficients by making some substitution. We know that from Legendre's method, ax plus b is replaced by e power z, then z equal to log of ax plus b, and theta is nothing but differential operator whose independent variable is z, and ax plus b into d can be replaced by, here you're having power 1, right? ax plus b power 1, d power 1. So you'll have quotient of a, which is, sorry, quotient of x, which is a into theta. Since you're having power 1, so you'll have only one term in terms of theta. ax plus b whole square into d square can be replaced by, since you're having power 2, so you'll get two terms theta into theta minus one and into a square okay if you have q then you'll get three terms in terms of theta theta into theta minus one into theta minus two into a q okay now coming to our problem let five plus two x equal to e power z then z equal to log of 5 plus 2x here also theta is a differential operator whose independent variable is z now we can replace 5 plus 2x into d by here you're having power 1 right so you'll get theta into quotient of x 2 5 plus 2x whole square into d square can be replaced by here you're having power 2 right so you'll get two terms of theta theta into theta minus 1 and quotient of x2 square okay now equation 1 becomes Replace the first term by 2 square into theta of theta minus 1 minus 6 into replace 5 plus 2x into d by 2 theta plus 8 into y equal to 0. This gives us 2 square 4 theta into theta minus 1 minus 6 to the 12 theta plus 8 into y equal to 0. Let's simplify this again. 4 theta into theta is 4 theta square minus 4 theta into 1 is minus 4 theta minus 12 theta plus 8 into y equal to 0, right? This gives us 4 theta square minus 4 theta minus 4 theta is minus 16 theta plus 8 into y equal to 0. See? We can take 4 common from all the 3 terms of LHS. So you'll get 4 times theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 to the right, right? 2 into y equal to 0. This gives us theta square minus 4 theta plus 2 into y equal to 0. Consider as equation 2 which is a reduced equation. See, we have reduced the Legendre's equation to an equation with constant equations, which is of the form f of theta 
into y equal to 0. Now we need to find solution to this equation. So the solution to this equation is given by y equal to yc. Okay. Here we don't have RHS power. So it is. So here we don't find yp. We'll just get the solution by finding yc itself. So we'll find yc using auxiliary equation right so let's find auxiliary equation to find the solution to equation 2 and the equation 2 the solution to equation 2 will be in terms of z and later using the solution of equation 2 we'll find the solution of equation 1 which results in terms of x okay now coming to the auxiliary equation here are f of theta is theta square minus 4 theta plus 2. Now coming to auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to we have f of theta theta square minus 4 theta plus 2 right. Let's replace theta by m so that we'll get f of m equal to f of m minus 4m plus 2 then the auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4m plus 2 equal to 0 so here we are going to find roots using quartic formula okay now we need to find roots to this equation we'll find roots using quartic formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2. I just compare this equation with ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 or am square better. Let the quartic equation be in m. Then a equal to just come by comparing these two we will get a, b, c values. a is quotient of m square which is 1 b is quotient of m which is minus 4 and c is constant 2 right now substitute the values here we'll get minus of minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 whole square minus 4 into a into c by 2 into a which gives us minus into minus plus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square is 16 minus 4 2 is 8 by 2. This gives us 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 8 is 8 by 2. Again we can write square root of 4 as square root of sorry you can split 8 or you can write 8 as 4 into 2 for our convenience okay. This equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 4 into square root of 2 by 2. We know that square root of 4 is 2, so we'll get 2 root 2 by 2. Now take 2 common from these two terms, I mean from, from numerator. Take 2 common from the terms of numerator, you'll get 2 times. 2 plus or minus root 2 by 2, where 2 gets cancelled. And you'll get m equal to 2 plus or minus root 2, right? Therefore, m equal to 2 plus or minus root 2. So we got roots to our auxiliary equation. We know that when m equal to a plus or minus square root of b, then the solution to our problem will be yc equal to or y. Okay, y equal to e power a into that variable z into one constant say c1 cos h into root b z plus c2 sin h root b z okay now let's write our solution using this formula then y equal to e power just compare these two you'll get a equal to 2 and b equal to 2 right we'll get e power 2z into 
सी वन कॉस रूट टू जेड प्लस सी टू साइन एच रूट टू जेड इट इज रिक्वायर्ड सोल्यूशन टू इक्वेशन टू द फोर द जनरल सोल्यूशन टू इक्वेशन टू इज y इक्वल टू ए पॉ टू जेड इंटू सी वन कॉस एच रूट टू जेड प्लस सी टू साइन एच रूट टू जेड ओके ना वी नीड टू फाइंड सोल्यूशन टू इक्वेशन वन यूजिंग दिस सोल्यूशन सी द सोल्यूशन टू इक्वेशन टू इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ जेड नाउ विल फाइंड सोल्यूशन टू इक्वेशन वन यूजिंग दिस and we'll get the solution in terms of x let's see we have y equal to e power 2z into c1 cos h into root 2z plus c2 sin h into root 2z right we can write e power 2z as e power z whole square into c1 cos h root 2z the terms under brackets will remain the same okay since e power z can be replaced by 5 plus 2x and z is replaced by log of 5 plus 2x then this equation becomes then y equal to e power z just replace e power z by 5 plus 2x whole square into c1 cos h into root 2 we have z log of 5 plus 2x plus c2 h sorry c2 sin h of root 2 z replace z by log of 5 plus 2x which is required solution to our problem in terms of x which is required solution to equation 1 or given equation well we have seen a problem from legendas equation whose rhs is 0 in this video i hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye